is just a series, an idea of um, the passing and receiving that you can do different kind of things that you can do with your kids. Just a simple basic idea of different things to do rather than just standing next to each other knocking them all back and forth. So come on out guys. You have some soccer balls. All right, get yourselves into two, three groups of five, thereabouts. <clears throat> yeah, I'm good right now. That's fine, just stick them in, you know, just make a group of six, whatever's fine. And come on out here. And put half your group at one end of this channel and one ha half your group at the other end. <clears throat> All right, so you need one ball inside the cones. Uh, we're gonna use the inside of our foot we're going to knock it to the next line. You're going to receive it. After you play it, you're going to go out to the left, come to this line. Okay? So we'll just get started, then we'll talk about technique and we'll watch and see how you do. All right? So here we go. Play. So we just want to get them passing and moving this. We do this every day um, at RPI with my team, with the college guys. Every day we start by passing and receiving, and we're going to, uh, we'll talk about the things that we look for, the coaching points and stuff like that. But the idea here is to keep them moving. They're not just standing. We touch it, play it, move, play it and move. So that we get a, uh, everybody going, we're not just standing still knocking balls back and forth. Okay, and freeze. All right, now. Make sure, that's it, good. All right, first things first. We want to make sure that we're doing it technically right, okay? So foot next to the ball, toe up inside of the foot. Every touch is with the inside of your foot, okay? So we're not receiving playing with the outside or, or anything like that. Every ball is played with the inside of your foot, okay? So that's how you're going to strike it. Oh, hold the ball a second. When it comes to you, now it's difficult on this surface, but when it comes to you, you'd like the ball, play the ball into me, to just die a little bit in front of you so that you do not have to take a step backwards, okay? You never want to have to do this in a game. Take a ball, step back to prepare, okay? So we want to get it knocked out in front of us. It's right here. We're just going to kill it right here. Now, the cones are set up to give you a channel because accuracy is part of it. If we're passing to our teammates and we can't hit the player, is the pass any good? Right? So we have this channel here. So you want to try and hit it straight down the middle of the channel. Okay? It gives you a, sort of a focus. All right? As you get older and bigger, here's what we would do. We would go like this. We make it tighter and tighter. Okay? But we're going to start right here for now. So I want the ball straight down. Try to hit right in the middle. And I'm going to receive it. Now, you see where the ball's going? You're stopping. You're going like this. Follow through right towards me. Oh, look at that. Kill it in front of you and play it. All right, here we go. Play. All the way through. Follow through. That's it. Control the pace in here. It's a little, getting the correct pace in here is going to be difficult. Excellent. Try to get it so it's not bouncing. If it starts to bounce, put it down on the ground. Always go out to the left. We're playing all with the right foot right now. All with the right foot. So what we do is we'll go right foot. We're going to change in a minute and go to left foot. And then uh, we'll show you some of the different things we do out of this, this uh, uh, thing here. We, if you have older kids, you make that middle set of cones tighter so that they're more accurate. And the cones really are there just to, so that they're focusing on the accuracy of passing. We spend a lot of time using the inside of our foot for this simple reason. In most of the passes you hit when you're playing soccer are 10, 15, 20 yards. Yeah, you gotta be able to hit a long ball, but most of them are struck on the ground, so passing and receiving with the inside of your foot is vital. 
Accuracy, pace, all that stuff. We talk about it all the time. Okay, good, freeze boys. Now we're gonna go to the left foot. And when you start, you always start at the line that has the most guys. So put the ball wherever you have the most guys. If you have two and two, which line does it go to? Just checking, it's early. Want to make sure you guys are awake, okay? So you, uh, so you always start, we're gonna go left foot now. Now, when you use your, any left footers in here? Okay, so lucky for you, now this is your strong foot, right? You should have said that earlier when you were missing me. And I was, okay, well then we know. So now, when you're using your weaker foot, start easy and concentrate on striking it correctly and don't worry so much about the pace and as you get more comfortable then you increase the pace of the ball okay you ready play good and then we want to get to the other line as quick as we can always go that's it play it and go play it and go Good, good. Get that kick. Make sure you get that touch out in front of you. Excellent. Paco, well done. This group is well schooled. Excellent. Another minute. And I am of the belief that you cannot do this enough because this is the this is it for us. Um, I watch games all the time. P teams cannot pass the ball from A to B. They can kick it and chase it, but passing from A to B is difficult. So the more you do this, the better you get at it. And there, you want to change it up. That's why we have, I have three on the sheet. There are a lot more that you can do. You can use your imagination, come up with all kinds of stuff. And freeze. Okay, now watch. Give it to Mitch down there. Let's just step off side thing. So now, ball's gonna come to me. If it comes to my right or left foot, I'm gonna prepare it for the other foot. So ball comes in, it's on my right, I'm gonna put it so I can play with my left. Or vice versa, if it comes in, go ahead Mitch. If it comes in here, I'm gonna put it so I can play with my right. And then we're gonna change. So it comes to your right, you put it so you can play with your left. All right, ready, go. Two good touches. Prepare it, play it. Prepare it, play, excellent, that's it. When you get down that end, just stay one extra turn. See, your line evens up. There you go, good. Excellent, excellent, boys. If you hit the cones in the middle, you gotta fix the cones in the middle. Good, and get to the next line, that's it. Get to the next line. Good, and get there, get there, get there. And the whole time you're doing this, you're watching the technique. The most important thing when you're passing the ball with the inside of your foot is that your toe is up, okay? It almost, it almost cannot be up high enough, okay? Or too high. You wanna get it up there and you wanna strike the ball. Most of us have stripes on our shoes from the stripes back, okay? From the stripes where it's solid, where your, your leg and your ankle come together there, your foot, that's where it's solid. You can hear you get it on the toe, it's gonna be a weaker pass. Chris, there's no using this at Clarkson now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, be accurate, be accurate. Excellent, okay, good, freeze. And we'll just go to the last stage here, which we would do. What I want you to do is forget about the cones for now. You step back a little bit, you two step that way. Just go slide, no, no, you guys go that way. And this whole line goes that way. You guys come here, this group go this way. The whole group, slide that way. So you just go down to the end, you come to this cone, you go down to the end, come to this cone, you go to the end, come to that cone right there. All right, right there's good, freeze. You go with the ball, go, go, go. All right, so just watch this group here. 
Starts at this end, Mitch. So now we just add in, once we get going, we'll make it a little longer, add in a little combination, which is not on the, uh, on the sheet uh, because um, I don't have a computer that will be able to make it that way, so I just left it and I'll tell you about it, right? So here's the combination, all right? Now pay attention, guys, because it can get just a little confusing. I'm going to play the ball in. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to follow it at an angle. You're going to play back to me and stay there. Receive, I'm going to play this one touch into you, you take two. Okay? So it goes like this, watch. We'll do it one more time. I play from here, you're going to play to me one touch. I play here, I go here, one touch, back into you, one touch, take a touch. Now play in, now you do it. You go to the other side, other side, get it, play it in, play one touch, two touch, play, that's it, and we go. That's it, stay, play, and in. There you go. Okay, let's go, boys. See the rotation. Here we go. Play. So now we add just a little bit of combination play from what they were doing. We add it in. So they're playing and moving. Try to do everything with the inside of your foot. And just stay after you lay it off. Stay, stay, stay. Don't, don't leave. After you lay it off, stay right where you are. Come on. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come down this end. Get it. Play. Lay it off. Stay right there. Play right into feet, boys. And freeze, freeze. Good job. Jump back there, Mitch. Just take this. Just watch, give it to Mitch. All right, now, this ball here, play into my feet. This ball's laid into feet. When he come, come and get it, sorry. We play into feet. Now, that ball is played right into my feet, not into space. Okay, I want it right into my feet. Here, receive it, and then play it. Okay, so you hold your ground. Okay, here we go. Get it going again. Uh, play his feet. Play his feet. One of the things I see all the time and we harp on with our program is hitting feet. And we see a lot of guys that play one twos, they play the ball in, the next ball's diagonally forward. Okay? There's only a couple spots on the field where that should be done. Because if you do that in the midfield, you're gonna lose it. So everything is defeat. So, for example, if I'm, if I'm instructing guys to do a, a one-two, the ball's coming in, it's going back into his feet because as soon as I beat that guy, I want the ball at my feet so I can assess the next situation. So we always, well, I'm always harping on guys about playing into, into feet. There are a couple of times where you would knock a ball into space, but uh, that's more of a tactical thing at this point. Okay, guys, great job. Get a quick drink. We're going to move to the next one. So we got two. All right. All right, come on, get yourselves into two groups. There's a triangle of three cones there. Try to be equal around each cone, and there'll be a triangle right here for the other, other group. And, so, excuse me? Is me uh, just two behind each cone. If you have extras, three is fine. And you need one, one ball to start at each group. Here's your triangle over here. These cones are not out here. I'm picking them up for you. There you go. Okay. So this next one is used. We use it to make sure we're always uh, using what I, the phrase I always use is front foot. So if I'm a right back, right midfielder, right winger, or left-sided player, when the ball comes to me, play me the ball, I always want it to go across my body to the front, what I call the front foot. So this is one I, I actually got this one from, uh, I was at a coaching school and I, I saw the national team doing it and I, I love it, so, and it's real simple. So the players that are up stand in front of the cone, that's it, you're gonna play me the ball and then you're gonna follow it to here, stay there for now. 
So I'm going to receive the ball on my front foot. But the key here is, when we're teaching the kids, we don't want them to, hold, just hold the ball. We don't want them to face the ball. We want them to face the middle between the two players. If they face here, then they have to swing open. And when they swing open, there's lots of chances for the ball to roll away like that. Okay? All we want them to do is catch it. Okay? So if I'm facing the middle, ball comes to me, I just catch it. Just like that. Front foot, now I step and I play. Okay? So everything is front foot. You're going to play it, follow it. The next guy in line steps in. Right? Both ends. We ready? Here we go, and play. And around. Ah! Uh -uh. Everything is with the right foot right now. Ah, uh, don't let it run away. Kill it. Kill it. That's it. Face the middle. Face between the players. Try to do it in two touches. And freeze. What's the, con is anybody here, can anybody see the common sort of, I don't want to, I, I hate to use the word mistake when you talk about little kids, but what's the common mistake that we're making here? What is it? The They're facing the player, right? So that's good. So that's the coach. Those were one of your coaching moments. We're facing the ball, boys. Where did I tell you to face? In between, right? So I'm looking here. If I'm facing here, I'm gonna, it's, gonna, it's harder. I want to face this way. Plus, if I face this way, can I see more of the field? Yeah. So if I face like this, I just shut this all off to me. Okay? So we want to get in the habit of seeing more of the field. Okay? And that group right there where you have four in that line, one of you go to another line so there's three, three, and two. Okay? So we want to face this way. Okay? Everything is front foot. Now, let me see the ball for a second. What happens, or actually, you know what? I'm going to tell you where, I want you to play it here. What happens when the ball is played down behind me here? What should I do? Shift? What do you mean by shift? Move your feet. Excellent, excellent. So when the ball's behind us, here's the common fix. Most kids will do that. Now I'm looking at you guys, and the field we're playing on is over here, right? So what we want to do is we want to talk about their footwork. So when it's a little behind us, we have to open up and still face. So we're going to have to take our feet. Just hold the ball for a second. We got to open up and turn our hips so we can see. So any ball that's played behind you, make sure you're going here and getting it so you're still facing forward. All right, here we go. All right foot. Ready? Play. Excellent. Kill it. Kill it. We don't want the ball to roll. We want it to stop. That's it. Got to kill it. All right. And freeze. Now we go left foot. Paco, can I? One more. Ah, left foot. You got a little lazy there. Reach back, right? That's it. Now you're going to have one anyway, so just keep going. There's. When you get down there, stay, okay? Stay an extra turn. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, freeze. Now we're going to see, we'll go back to the right foot. We're just going to give you a little challenge here. Paco, I'm going to need your help for one second. We'll get it going, and since we're doing a good job, at some point we get it rolling, we're going to add a second ball. So now we're going to have to really concentrate, keep the ball moving, all right? Ready? Play. Okay, you ready? After he plays it, go. As soon as he plays it, here we go. We got two in now. Now you guys can't make mistakes. That's it. Get it going. Get the second ball in. There you go. Come on. Now there's a little pressure on you. Ah, get it on the inside of your foot. Good job over there. So by adding a second ball, you just add some pressure. Because people always say, well, where does the pressure come from? How can you, you're not playing? They're playing under pressure. So right now, for example, these kids, what pressure are they playing under? Speed, ball, what else? Accuracy. Accuracy. What else? 
How about the fact that you're all sitting here watching them, right? That's pressure. They're all out there right now going, oh my God, we're on camera and all these people here. They're, they have me, I'm on them. I got, they gotta make sure they do it. So there's always ways to add pressure. I'm not saying you have to get an audience, but. Um, with the U, I'm back with some U8s now. Um, do you encourage them to stop the ball? Because I always- Yes, I, I encourage everyone that should always stop. stop. Kill it for a split Kill. second, then play it. Okay, if you watch the professional soccer, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Freeze for a second. This is why we, this is a great question. Grab a ball, give him a ball here before we move on to the next one. Come on out here, just right out here. What's your name? Jake. Jake? Jake, meet everyone. <laughs> okay, so I always encourage our players, we call it a kill touch, okay? If you watch the pros, if they're not playing one touch, play the ball in, it stops for a split second and then it's played. They very seldom run with their first touch. We preach that. Don't run with your first touch, because here's the common mistake. Ball comes, oh, geez, I lost it. I had one touch on it, it's gone. So not just under eights, great question, but everyone, every time, if I'm in the midfield, ball's coming to me, I'm going that way. Kill it, and now I can play. Because that split second is not gonna kill me. Unless I'm under pressure, and if I'm under pressure, I'm gonna, play me, if I'm under pressure, then I'm just gonna play it one touch. Right, I don't need to, I don't want, so you never want to run with your first touch. There is one exception, can anyone tell me what the exception would be where you might run with your first touch? Maybe if you're transitioning or moving in a different direction. It's close. Yeah. It's really about where you are on the field. Through ball, yeah, it's more if you're a wide guy, uh, come on over here, stand right there and you're gonna be coming towards me to close me down when I ask you to, all right? Just walk though, because I'm really slow. <laughs> okay. So now the ball comes, I'm a wide guy, there's nothing but space at this end, here it comes, here comes the defender, I might push it into space to go and chase it. So you're talking about on the width, up front. Okay, everywhere else, you know, you're not really gonna run with that first touch, because even if I'm an outside back and I have 15 yards in front of me, okay, when the ball comes to me, this is what I'm gonna do first, here, and then I can push it. Why not have total control of it? If I let the ball keep rolling, I don't have control of it, okay? So, um, I'm gonna show you just one thing you can do with your older kids. We'll see if this, got, this group down here can do this, okay, with the older kids to add to this. So you're gonna play, in front of your cone by about a yard, okay? You're gonna play the ball, now watch, you're gonna have to give them room, okay? Play the ball and come and get it. I'm gonna lay it off, now I'm gonna back pedal, open my hips, get the ball right here. Play in, play me, back pedal around the cones, lay it off, play it in, okay? Lay it off, now, freeze. What's the one thing, we can make it a little bigger, so take your cones and go that way. That's good right there. And you guys can do the same thing, make your cones a little bigger. So now you gotta make sure that you're in front of the cones. You play the ball, now watch, you're gonna back pedal, and right when you get to here, you're gonna open your hips, okay? So it's a little agility training while you're doing passing and receiving. So let's see if you guys can do that. Let's see if we can do it, all right? So play in front, where'd your ball go? Quickly, come on, you guys can get it going. Let's see if we can do it. So the guy on the next guy in line has got to give him room. You got to give, excellent, play. So now it's one touch, isn't it? That's it, now don't lead him. All right, all right, it's hard on this surface. It's hard on this surface, play it in. There you go, play. You got to give him room. You can't stand right behind him, okay? So make sure you give him room. So this is good, well done boys, well done. Lay it in. Lay it off, get around it, open your hips, see the field. There you go, you gotta get a little further in front of the cone. And freeze, excellent job. One thing though, is I wanna do it one more time because I, I want you guys to do it perfect because I think you can. Don't lead him, Brandon, go right over there. Take this ball. I don't want the, or actually Brandon, I'll go there, you go over here. I don't want this ball played to Brandon. I don't wanna lead him like that. It goes back to what I was saying about playing into 50-50 balls. So when the ball goes, boys, when he lays it off, come back in here, Brandon. I'm gonna put it as close to that cone as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna get around the cone and I want the ball right here. I want it right here. Receive it and play it, okay? Here we go, play. 
So again, lots of technique. You're always, in all of these, you're looking at the technique. You're making sure that they let the ball go across their front foot, their toes are up, accuracy. But you're also now, this isn't just standing and passing the ball back and forth. Now, back to your under eights, yeah. they won't be able to do this. No, I don't. Okay? Oh, oh God, I so, don't. But you can do the first one. Hard enough. Right, the first one they'll be able to do. Yeah, they get it. They will be able to do. Like to okay? So now there's, um, now from here, you know, you can add, like I said, you can just be creative. You can add all kinds of stuff from, you know, for all of these. You still want to face the middle here on this side. Excuse me? You still have to face the middle. Yeah, they should still pretty much face the middle because they're going to, now when they go to receive it, they got to change a little bit. You know, they got to be in here. But yeah, anytime you're, you're looking towards the field, not the player. Adam, I find that we don't do this. I agree. I just, I think we're, we're on the same page. Yeah, we are. Well, we've known each other for a long time. Um, I just don't think we do enough shuttle pass type drills. Yeah, passing and receiving. Horrible. Passing and receiving. Yeah. Game uh, we, we, um, you know, I'm, I'm working with um, FC Elite now and also, you know, with my RPI team. And this is something that passing and receiving is a weakness that I find. And, you know, I get guys in, I recruit these guys that, that are all have all these awards and good players. And you got to get them right in here. Jack knows he's done it. You got to get in here and I'm breaking them down, yeah. teaching them to do this correctly. Yeah. Right. And, you know, uh, but they pick it up quick as long as you, you give them the right information. Yeah. So I think we should be afraid of it, I guess, too. Right. We've got to go back from that. A friend of mine, a friend of mine with another school took his team to Holland, and his guys were on one practice field, and the, the, the pros were on another practice field. And they were doing simple passing and receiving stuff. The guys from, I won't give the school. <laughs> on purpose. They might be a rival. So the, uh, the guys on this field that were the college guys were bored with it in 20 minutes. The professionals over here did it for 45 and never got bored with it and were focused the whole 45 smacking balls. To, as was, he was told to me from, from their coach. So at the highest level, they do this. I mean, like I said, I got this, this exact exercise came from Bob Bradley with the national team when I was in California at a, at a coaching school. They did this for 25 minutes with the national team play. These are pros. And he was just like I would, standing right here barking at them. Get your toes up. Get the pace right. And this is with guys who are playing for us at the national level. They're professional players. So you can never do enough of this. All right, boys, get a quick drink. Great job. Great job. <clears throat> Paco, groups of four, as close as you can get. Uh, as many, as, whatever you have. And you're going to need one ball with each group, guys. All right, each group, you'll see a rectangle out here. Take a rectangle and put one guy on every line. We'll test your math skills now. If you have one extra, you just have a double. You can throw a fifth guy in, just have two at the back. So nobody's sitting out. So just join a group. So we'll start with this group here. One guy on each line, not each cone. Ah, geometry. Come on over here. Make it a little bigger here. Grab that one, Mitchie. Bring it back here. Just leave that one there. It's good. Bring it back this way. Okay, this is a pretty simple one. 
uh, that we that we we do. I, I got this out of actually out of a coaching magazine. So the one good thing about coaching is we're allowed to steal from everyone, right? You never claim it's your own. I mean, very few people. Why invent things that are already out there? Okay. So uh, this one here is we do a couple things with it. So the first one is it's a ball that's basically a driven ball in, not ridiculously driven in, nice pace on here. Okay, ah, uh, no, no, driven, not dribbled. <laughs> Brandon, come on. All right, so you play into me. Uh, 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 see where I'm standing? I want it right at me. It's played into me and laid off there. Take a touch, play into him, laid off to Brandon. Take a touch, play into me, laid off. Okay, freeze, freeze, good. So, we want to focus on and this looks pretty simple to start, but you'll see where we add some pressure to, from it. So you want to drive it in. So this ball wants to have the pace. Okay, so you want to be able, you ready? S drive it in, you got to kill it for him. And then that ball wants to be driven in with a little bit of pace. So you can take a touch in the beginning until we get the rhythm. Okay, so we would just play in, lay it off. Take a touch, play it in with pace, lay it off. That's it, take a touch, play it in with pace. There you go, good. All right, oh, let's go, all the groups. Drive it in, that's it. So the key here, ah, you want to hit it right into his feet, right? Get your toes up. So playing a one-touch ball, laying it off, the idea is to kill the ball for your teammate. So when it's driven into you, you're just going to, so you want to lay it off softly. So we're trying to change, that's a good one. We're trying to change the pace. And we also want them to start to learn the idea of knocking it in with pace. Because what I see a lot of is this kind of thing here. You guys keep going, you guys just stop for a second. I see these kind of passes here. Let me see the ball. When I, we set guys out, we have them do stuff. This is what we get. And then he touches it, roll it back to me. And we're, we're doing this. And this doesn't work in a game, does it? Because the defenders are going to get it. So we're always emphasizing that we want to knock it in with pace. And the harder we can knock it under control, the better we will be. Because the other team will not be able to catch it. Okay? So now, try to play it all in one touch. If you get a bad touch, you take a, a second touch on the longer ball. Okay, ready, play. Lay it off, play it in. Lay it off, that's it. Let's make your group, grab these cones here. Let's make this a little bigger here. Come this way. And you guys can come this way a little bit. That's it, here we go, and play. Lay it off and play it in. And now we change it a little bit so that the the other guys are now laying it off and, the other, and you're reversing who's playing what, okay? So you can just change around the space if you want or change the order of the passes. Play it in, oh, come on, hit feet. Hit feet, come on, just reverse it, yeah. All right, so let's get. That's it, and now driven in. And lay it off, and then driven in. That's it, that's it, play it in, that's it. Good, good, good. Adam, let the ball run across. It's been inconsistent. Here? Yeah. Now they do it perfect every time, right? Yeah. Okay, freeze. All right, now, here's what we do. Here's how we add a little bit of uh, pressure and make them concentrate a little bit. We give them a time and they have to get a combined, let's say 50 touches. Okay, so here's a touch right here. So this is one, play me, one, two, three, four. And you gotta do 50 without a mistake. And let's say we do it in, let's just, we'll see how you guys are. Let's try, you wanna try a minute first, see if that works? Okay, we'll try a minute first. I have a feeling you're going to get it, so we may have to make the time shorter. Okay? You make a mistake, you start over. Okay? So you have a minute to get 50. If you make a mistake, you start over. Ready? Play. You got to count. Ah, come on. Better touch, Brandon. That's better.
So what happens generally is that you'll pick a time that's too, too easy. Yeah. Like I did it with my college guys, I had to reduce the time because the, the time was too easy. But that's how you add the pressure to it. It's, it's pretty simple. Halfway there. That's it. Keep going, keep going. If you get it, keep going, don't stop. Play for a minute. And time. Did everybody get 50? 58, excellent. Okay, so how about we reduce it by 15 seconds and see if we can do it in 45 seconds. Okay, we'll go one more time here and then we'll move on. Okay, ready? And play. Halfway there, halfway there. Time. Did you get it? How many did you get? On the dot? How about you guys? How many? 49. 49. You know what? I might have stopped it a little early. How many did you get? 50. Excellent. Okay. Great job. So you can add a little bit of time. We found it for these guys. It was 45 seconds. So then we would challenge. That's our starting point as we go. Okay. Now we're going to make it 35 seconds to see if they can really ping it around. All right. Get a quick drink. I'm going to do one more that's not on the sheet because I think these guys can handle it. You just, uh, you need two balls, one group. Put two guys, see this box of cones? I need players on the outside, two players in the middle, and just evenly distribute. There's gonna be one group. So everybody just come in here. We'll just do every, we'll just do one. So behind this cone there, behind that cone, behind that cone, behind that cone. Evenly distribute yourselves. Good, okay. We need a ball, put a ball in that corner and a ball in that corner. Okay, this is a little complicated. The old, the young, really young kids might not be able to get it. We're gonna see if these guys can get it. There's one or two confusing parts that uh, uh, hopefully they'll be able to figure out, but they should be able to. Okay, so you're gonna face in the middle here, facing the middle, except getting that ball, you're gonna be over here. All right, so here's how this goes. You play the ball into here, take your front foot, go to the next cone, that's it. Play it. You're going to follow the ball. You're going to follow your ball. Okay? But you're going to go all the way across because you got to get it from that guy, right? Okay, so we'll get it. At the same time, you're doing the same thing on this side. So when you come in from the corner, this is the part that you just got to understand. When you come in from the corner, you don't go to this one, you go to the next line. So you're always going across. Okay? So give it back to Brandon over there. Go ahead, you go back in the middle, whoever was in there. 
Whoever was in the middle, jump in. We play at the same time. You take the ball on your front foot. You play with your right foot. So it's all right foot. Everything we do is right foot, here and here. And again, which way are we facing, guys, in the middle? Between, that's it, right there. Okay, ready? Play. Receive it, play it, and follow it. Just play and go. That's it. Receive it, play. Follow it. There you go. Excellent. Keep going. Uh, there you go. Help your teammate. There you go. And play. Next guy. That's it. Get in and get out as quick as you can. Get in and get out as quick as you can. That's it. Good. Come on. Play. That's it. Good. Good. Play. Here we go. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. I've had older groups can't figure this out. So there's a lot of movement. What we emphasize here is the, uh, we emphasize not just the technique part, but we talk about getting in and getting out quickly, right? You play it, you get in, you play it, you get out, okay? And we're gonna, I'll go through this real quick to show you the different surfaces that we use and the different uh, um, things that we do. So good, freeze. Now, put the ball in this cone, and now you're gonna go left foot, all left foot. So and nothing, and nothing changes, you just go in the opposite direction. Ready? Play. So we, we do it all right, all left, okay? We make them focus on that foot. So every touch, we got four guys in the middle. We're having a meeting. That's it, good job. You've all left foot. Every touch is with your left foot. Every touch. And get in and get out. Sprint in, sprint out. Sprint in, sprint out. That's it, that's it. Uh -oh, you're looking the wrong way. Uh -huh. Freeze, freeze, freeze. You two look the wrong way. Which way did you play from? There. So where do you go next? There. So get on the other side of the cones. Where'd you play from? Oh, yeah. So right, so now you're going. All right, so we gotta put the ball in opposite corners. Start again, all left foot. Now, here's what's throwing them off a little bit. They gotta concentrate so much on using their left foot, they're forgetting about how to move around. That's okay. It's also a little IQ test, right? We're always challenging them mentally. Okay, ready? One more time, here we go, play. All left foot and play, that's it. All left foot. Just follow the ball you play. Follow the ball you play. Come on, Brandon, all left foot, buddy, let's go. Sit and get in and get out. Don't jog out, sprint out. And don't jog in, sprint in. Good, and freeze. Freeze, good. So I put the ball over here and just start again. All right, now watch. We're going to go right foot, but we're going to play like this. Just step for a second. So you're going to play in. I'm going to receive it and play with the outside of my foot. So now we're adding another surface, okay? But everything else is exactly the same. So go again here. So now I'm gonna face the middle, I'm gonna play here, play it, receive it, outside, and then I go. So it's inside, outside as we play. Okay, ready? Let's see if we can get it, boys, play. That's it. That part is a little confusing. So what I do with the younger guys is, if, the, if I have the ability, I can use pennies or whatever. Blue here, blue on the far side, they go to the colors, okay? Red to the red, yellow to the yellow, green to the green. And that allows them to figure it out in the beginning, and then after a while they get the hang of it. But this group's picked it up pretty quick, so this is, this is pretty good. Mrs. Dugan, how are you? <laughs> Trying to be anonymous over there? Don't want me to embarrass you? Okay, I won't. Come on, keep going, let's go. Two, two, 10 fifth, that's what I thought. Okay. okay, boys, freeze. How about a round of applause for our demos? <clears throat> Good job, boys, go get a drink.